bit foggy in here, one second. Right, there we go. Yeah, you can see me now. Uh, yeah, that was a little joke I thought I'd do. Um, but yeah, like, anyway, we'll get on to the serious stuff now. I promised myself that I'd be serious in this video. Um, and I'm going to update you on some of the sales I have had over the past couple of weeks. I'll just adjust this guy here. And there we go. So, um, I need to grab my pad. And we will get on with it. So, this first off was this Lego Elizabeth Swan minifigure. Got this in a job lot. Um, and it owes me nothing. That job lot that I got, oh my god, I cleared so much money on that. It was crazy. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link up there. Um, and I went through it, basically, and I pulled out so many minifigures, and a lot of them were really good minifigures, maybe like £10 minifigures. There was, I think it was one twenty quid minifigure as well in there. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that job lot. Um, yeah, £9 plus postage for that one, so that was pretty cool. Uh, next, I saw this Combat Schmock. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and it was like an army jacket. Really cool thing. And I got it for £2. £2, that was it. It was crazy. I was expect there was no price on it. And I was expecting uh, the lady in the charity shop to say, oh, it's £10 or something like that. And I would have had it for £10. Uh, you know, knowing that I could make about the price I got on it. Um, but yeah, had it for £2 and uh, got £30 plus postage within a week. Really, really happy. I've been doing so well on uh, men's clothing, you know, the coats, the things like that. That's a little bit different, a little bit out there. Um, but still, nice little jacket that was. Um, next was some fairy soap. Now, this was from the job lot of new old stock I got. Again, there'll be a link to a video up there if you haven't seen the video. Um, I've had some like new old stock washing powder a couple of times now always worked out really well for me obviously prop departments want it things like that maybe collectors want it as well but i would say it's more for like the prop departments and things like that um you know tv shows that would maybe come to mind for me are, are shows that are set in a certain era like things like the goldberg stuff like that or i don't know there's, there are quite a, quite a few shows that are actually set you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, but I just can't think of it. Well, I like, call the midwife, things like that, or maybe that would be a bit old, but you know what I mean. You get the general gist of things. Um, and that's what they're wanting it for. They're wanting it as props. Um, I suspect that if you could find, like, new old stock cereal or new old stock toothpaste or whatever it is, I suspect there would still be a market for it. Maybe not for everything, but I do suspect that... If it's new old stock and, you know, it could be used as some sort of prop, then someone's going to have it. So, yeah, you might need to do a bit more research into that yourselves, but that's just my sort of uh, line of thinking. So, yeah, anyway, that was really cool. Got £20 plus postage on that. Cleared my money on the job lot already, so that's fine. Paid £30 for, like, nine boxes of it, and then I got a load of uh, sealed, new and sealed razors as well, razor blades. Um, so yeah, cleared my money back, so again, just like the Lego minifigure, that's all profit after postage and fees. Um, I saw this Space Crusade Amiga game, uh, at least I think it was an Amiga game, yeah, I, I've not wrote it down here, it just says Space Crusade, but yeah, I think it was an Amiga game. Um, one to two pound paid on that in a job lot, it was actually on my first ever pick where I went to someone's house. Um, and I got a job lot of about, I think it was about five or six, like, Amiga, um, sort of p big box PC games, um, and I got five or six of them for five pounds, so, as I say, it was like one pound, maybe two pound max, um, but yeah, so that was really cool, and I got, oh, it doesn't even say here, I think it was ten pound, I don't know whether that was ten pound plus postage, or ten pound free postage, but, the silly bugger I am, I've not wrote it down, I've just put one to two pound cost in a job lot. But anyway, I think it was about a tenner, but you'll be able to see there. Um, next was this Disneyland mug, uh, mugs glitter set, like it was a, 
uh, a Mi Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse, really, really nice. I think these were Disneyland exclusives, £15 plus postage, got those last car boot season for £1.50 each, and I thought, oh my god, they're going to go so quick. I think I had them up for like £25 plus postage or £20 plus postage, and they just didn't go. So I reduced and reduced and reduced them and got to 15 quid. Um, and then, yeah, they went. So happy with that. Really, really glad when that ka came up and I saw they, they had gone. Um, so yeah, nice one that. I, I saw this Tilly Talisman Grill or Camp Cooker for 49.99 plus postage. You may well know that I've not had this long at all. It probably went within a week, uh, maybe... No, I think just over a week. I think maybe, yeah, about around a week. I don't know. Around a week, though. It wasn't slow to go, anyway. Um, 49.99 plus postage, as I mentioned, and I paid £15 for that. So not an, a, a you know, mega profit, um, but certainly worth doing. So, yeah, that was nice. Um, Basil Brush Plush, just a really standard bread and butter item. Uh, brand new with tags, paid one ninety nine, got twelve ninety nine plus postage. You know, nothing special, but it's those bread and butter sales that keep things ticking along. Um, Cotton Traders jacket, brand new with tags. Now I did pay a little bit more than I wanted to for this. I was thinking, should I take it? Shouldn't I? It was a little bit of a risk, but I thought I'll take it for ten pound. Brand new with tags, and I got about uh, I got twenty five pound plus postage within about two weeks so it wasn't too bad um but it was a bit of a pump that one i was thinking i could probably get maybe 30 for it um but i didn't really know i just took a punt at a tenner but it worked out and you know there was some, still some profit in it um but i probably wouldn't pay 10 pound again i'd probably maybe you know if i saw something like that um a boot sale or whatever i wouldn't be paying 10 pound for it i'd want to be paying sort of like five pound max um, but yeah, glad I picked it up and got the knowledge on that one, and I still made a bit of profit. Uh, next was this black Wii Fit board for £30 plus postage, really good condition inside, uh, manuals are all there, all that sort of stuff, uh, the cardboard inserts were all in there, really, really nice. Uh, the original, like, plastic thing it came in, or was it a foam thing it came in, or a plastic thing, I can't remember. I think it was a plastic wrap it came in, but that was in there. Obviously, it had been opened, but the actual plastic was still in there. Um, and I got £30 plus postage, and I paid £3 for that in a charity shop. So, really, really good. Um, first aid box. Now, this was really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, it had what I believe to have been its original contents, which were obviously new old stock. Um, and I got £20 plus postage for that. You know, I mean, it wasn't like a real high value item or anything like that. But it's just one of those items that you get so much pleasure in dealing with. Um, and as I say, £20 plus postage, £4 paid for that. So, happy with that profit margin. Um, but I just, I loved picking it up. That was the big thing for me on that, on that one. So... Really enjoyed um, basically processing that and having a look at it and, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that was that one. So, in a second, I'll just freeze the, cap freeze the video here and then we will get on with the Amazon sales. So, we are back. So, um, yeah, Amazon sales. The last one of those Harry Potter Lego sets went... Do you remember I got a job lot of 12 of them? I kept a couple back here, actually. Um... Maybe I'm tempted just to keep them for a few years and just see what the price is in a few years' time on them. Because obviously I'll have made profit on the job lot and they'll just go in a drawer somewhere and then, oh, a few years later I'll take them out of the drawer and then I might, I might realise, oh my God, that poly bag's worth 35, 40, 50 quid or something now. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I just had that feeling in my mind I'm going to keep a couple back from the job lot. But anyway, so I sent 10 in, I believe, or 11 in, um, and yeah, they went, uh, the last one of them went for £17.79, that's what I was trying to say. The last one of them went for £17.79, uh, really quick turnaround on them, so, so quick, within, 
yeah, within like a couple of weeks, most of them or all of them had gone. Um, and I paid £5 for those. So, you know, not the best profit margin in the world. But obviously I did pay slightly more because it was eBay sniping and it was Lego. Um, and you're always going to end up paying slightly more. Um, so yeah, but that was fine. Still still some profit in those. And we went quickly, so, that, so that's all good. Um, Top Trump's Narnia. Uh, this was brand new and sealed. Um, I actually got 19.99 for this one pack of Top Trumps, and certain Top Trumps, brand new and sealed, go really well on Amazon. They do well. Uh, not necessarily, they're not necessarily really quick sellers, but y you know you can get some good money for them. I paid one pound for that on 99p. I can't. I think it was 99p actually, but we'll just say a pound. Um, so yeah, I paid one pound for that into 20 quid. Happy days with that one. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Mind Over Mutant. One that I hadn't actually picked up, which was really weird. Um, I didn't even know it existed. And it was a PS2 game. I got £22 for that. And I paid £5 in a job lot. Um, but yeah, still happy with that. £5 into 22 It's not too bad. Um, and it was cool. It was a cool experience getting to know that that one actually existed. Um, I'd, I'd never seen it before, so that was cool. Um, and then finally, just a Ricky Hatton DVD. Uh, sold for €9.60. Euros and 60 cents. I can't remember which marketplace that was on. Um, I don't know whether it was German one, French one, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I paid a pound for that. So, you know, it's not the most fantastic profit in the world, but again, it's bread and butter stuff. Nice and easy to deal with. So, that is all the sales. Thank you for watching, guys. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will be back in a few days time to give you another sales update so that then we're a bit more up to date. Um, so yeah, that's it. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next one guys. Thank you for watching and bye for now.